a must ask how City of Troy has he come out of the Guineas with no ill effects? Yeah, no, he seems to be fine. Uh, I suppose with the benefit of hindsight, maybe I was too easy on him all winter. Uh, probably treated him with uh, too much respect. Um, he was doing his work very easily the whole time, and probably happens sometimes with that, those type of horses. They mightn't be as forward as, as I thought, and he might have been fresher than I thought. Uh, everything went perfect uh, with him. He just went into the stalls last, and just as he went in, he, he, he panicked Ryan said, and, and started to give a big jump. And then when the stalls, uh, then when he landed, the stalls opened straight away. So really, I think I left him too fresh. Probably didn't do enough with him. And what can happen when that happens? The minute they jump around in the stalls, our heart rate goes up. And when he landed, the, the skates open, so he didn't get a, a chance for his heart to readjust. And I'd say he probably jumped at it when his heart was very high. And I'd imagine when we were working the horses, they kind of work and they go into the red zone maybe the last furlong, furlong and a half. But I'd say he probably hit the red zone a halfway. And then when, when that happens, they just cut out um, and, and you can't do anything about it. So I, I think, and, and the reason for it was I never thought there would be a problem in the stalls and there never was before, but he was just a bit fresh and it all happened very quickly. Listen, um, we'll see the next day, but I, I think, and uh, we think that that's what happened. So uh, look forward to him the next day. Has anything changed in terms of the campaign you had tentatively plotted for him before Newman? No, no, the, the campaign was planned that he would run into the guineas and then he'd go to the derby and that's what he will do. Um, we were putting it down to that and, and just uh, uh, it was a non-event really. Um, so he'll be trained for the derby and uh, obviously when we get going we'll know a lot more but he seems fine and uh, um, we look forward to him the next day and, and hopefully I'll have him properly prepared the next day. I know it was different circumstances last year with Augusta at Aiden, but we saw how he was able to bounce back from that disappointment at Newmarket and win the derby. Have you got every faith this guy can do yeah, likewise? Listen, like obviously you can't take away from what he did or what he was doing and uh, and I don't think that any of that was a freak or a fluke ever. We saw it there, the three runs and we saw it in his work at home all the time and it was just a, an off day and, and like I said, the reasons are what I said and I think that is the, the reason. So we will stay on the same plan and uh, obviously when you have a plan obviously you don't always hit the markers on the way but hopefully we get to the end uh, uh, where we hope the finish line is going to be so listen uh, I, like I think and we think that it'll be all left behind them and uh, look forward to him and when he starts his work and we'll know more but uh, I think that's uh, for us the way we're working it out. And the filly Alang Alang not beaten far in a blanket finish to the 1000 Aiden. Do you take plenty of positives away from that? Yes, very. We, we were very happy with her and she did what we thought she would do. She was working more like an Oaks filly than a uh, Guineas filly. And uh, Ryan came in and he said he, he, a mile and a quarter was going to be definitely in her in her, uh, co in her uh, within her scope and usually if those good fillies are good mile and a quarter fillies they usually have a good chance of getting a mile and a half in Epson. So, we're going to stay on the same plan with her. We're going to train her for the Oaks, and uh, we'll know more. But we were delighted with her run, and Ryan was delighted with the run. And in fairness, you'd made no secret of the fact that you felt Opera Singer was your number one for the Guineas until she had her setback. Are you still hoping she'll be okay for the Guineas here? Yes, that's the plan. Uh, we're, going to, we're obviously going to improve plenty from it because uh, she she missed all her away days and the few little things that she had, and we're hoping going to have her ready to start in the Guineas. But there will be plenty of improvement. Uh, from it and uh, hopefully we'll start in the guineas and then we'll go to Ascot with her so uh, looking forward to her. Brilliant. Aiden, appreciate the update. Well done again by Whistle Jacket. Thanks very much. Pleasure Gary. Thank you.